Good afternoon, Syracuse. Today is Tuesday, February 21st, 2017. I'm Claudia Belfato with today's news brief. Students are pushing to make Syracuse a sanctuary campus. Protesters made their voices heard at the Student Association's open forum last night. Chancellor Siverud was met by protesters before the forum began. Students requested that Siverud declare Syracuse University a sanctuary campus. The protesters' main concern is to protect students regardless of citizenship status. Breitbart News Editor Milo Yiannopoulos resigned today. This comes after a video portrayed Yiannopoulos condoning relationships between men and teenage boys. The conservative CPAC conference retracted their invite for Yiannopoulos to deliver a speech and, publish, and a publisher pulled a book deal as well. Yiannopoulos has made a name for himself with his controversial statements. I would be wrong to allow my poor choice of words to detract from my colleague's important job, which is why today I'm resigning from Breitbart Effective immediately. And President Trump called for an anti-Semitism in America to stop today. This comes after 11 JCCs received bomb threats yesterday. Trump spoke after visiting the African American History Museum this morning. Ivanka Trump, who converted to Judaism, also called for the threats to stop on Twitter. Adam Unger will be reporting live at the JCC in DeWitt on News Live at 6. As we take a look outside, February is beginning to look like springtime. Temperatures almost hit 50 degrees today. For those camping out tonight ahead of the Duke game, tomorrow's temperatures will hit the high 50s. Thank you for watching today's Citrus TV News Brief. Tune in for News Live at 6 with Nick Papantonis and Jackie Prager. Have a great evening, Syracuse.